There are approximately 350,000 goods vehicles operating in Ireland, over half of which are more than four years old. As vehicles age, they are subject to wear and tear, and unless attended to at regular intervals, this will eventually result in unsafe vehicles and breakdowns. In addition, up to 10% of collisions causing injury are caused by vehicle defects. Most defects that occur on heavy goods vehicles are maintenance related and are therefore preventable. Well-maintained vehicles give both business and safety benefits. They are more reliable and cheaper to run. This means less downtime, better fuel efficiency, more reliable customer service, longer vehicle lifespan and reduced transport costs. Road traffic legislation requires that vehicles are maintained in a safe and roadworthy condition when in use on the public road. So whether you own, lease, hire or borrow a vehicle for work purposes, you must ensure that it is safe for use and fit for purpose for which it is intended. On Garda Siakana carry out routine roadside checks, often in conjunction with the Road Safety Authority. If your vehicle is found to be defective, you will be prosecuted and your journey may be delayed till the defect is rectified. In serious cases where the defect is deemed to make the vehicle dangerous, not only will there be a prosecution, but the vehicle may be detained, resulting in loss of income, fines, prosecutions and associated legal costs for both the driver and the operator. In addition, if the vehicle owner is aware of a dangerous defect and allows the vehicle to be driven, they can also be prosecuted. So failing to maintain your vehicle is a false economy. Vehicle walk-around checks carried out by the driver are a crucial part of any vehicle preventative maintenance system. Driver walk-around checks should be incorporated in daily work routines. Every driver should carry out a check before they start their first journey in the vehicle each day. Where more than one driver is using a vehicle in a day, the second driver should conduct the same check before they use the vehicle. Any defects found should be recorded and reported to the employer or the designated responsible person so that appropriate action can be taken. Any safety critical defects must be rectified before the vehicle is used on the road. Under health and safety legislation, a vehicle is a place of work, so it must be maintained to be safe when it's in use. There must also be safe access and safe egress. And to help in this, uh, it's recommended that the driver should uh, carry out regular checks by walking around the vehicle, and that way they can see that it is safe for themselves as the driver, but also safe for other road users. The employer also has duties. The employer has a duty to ensure that the driver knows how to carry out this check and that they have received the correct and appropriate supervision, instruction and training to enable them to carry out this. And no driver should ever... not fit for purpose and is safe for them and other road users. There is a duty of care for the employer to ensure that the driver has received the appropriate instruction, training and supervision to enable them to identify if there are problems, to carry out the periodic checks and to ensure that they will not drive the vehicle if there is any defect or issue with it. There is a duty to report any defects identified, to record them and to take appropriate corrective action. When conducting walk-around checks, it's important for the driver to develop a routine so that they don't miss any items. When conducting the checks, wear a high visibility vest or jacket and look out for other vehicles. People being hit or run over by vehicles are one of the main causes of workplace fatalities. As you walk up to the vehicle, check that it is sitting square and not leaning to one side. Begin your walk around duties by activating your tachograph. Switch on the parking and hazard lights to show that you are operating around the vehicle and that the lights are working. Check that the driver's mirrors are secure and not damaged. Check that wheels are in good condition with no cracks or damage and that they are secure. If wheel nut indicators are in use, check that they are correctly aligned. Is there any damage to the tyres such as bulges, cracks, cuts or tears? Is there evidence of carcass failure or separated or perished rubber? Are they correctly inflated with appropriate thread depth? Tyres should have sufficient thread and should not be worn to the extent that the tread indicator contacts the road surface. Check tread depth with a simple gauge. The legal minimum tyre tread depth for heavy goods vehicles is 1.6 mm, but tyres should be replaced before this. You should also refer to the manufacturer's handbook for specific information about obtaining best performance from your vehicle. Is the exhaust secure? Continue on and look at the coupling. Is it in good condition? Ensure that the fuel tank cap is securely in place and that the cap seal is in good condition and is not leaking. Walk around the vehicle in one direction and check that all required lights, reflectors and markings are fitted, clean and in good condition. 
Check that the vehicle bodywork, wings, side and rear guards, curtains and straps for damage. Ensure that body panels are secure and not liable to fall off and create a hazard for other road users and that the bodywork has no sharp edges. If the vehicle has a tail lift, is it in good condition and operating correctly? Is it safely locked in position for travel? Employers, remember that the tail lift should be thoroughly examined by a competent person once a year. Ensure that the number plates are fitted in the correct position, clean and that the registration is clearly visible. Are loading doors secure and in good condition? Remember, as a driver, you are responsible for the security of your load. If carrying a load, check that it is adequately secured, unlikely to move and that the vehicle is not overloaded. Check the load restraints for damage, wear and tear such as fraying straps, cuts or tears and replace as necessary. Where a trailer is in use, the trailer must display the number of the truck at the rear and the trailer should also display its own registration or marker plate on the near side chassis rail. Check that the landing legs are fully raised and the handle is secured in the correct position and that the fifth wheel is located and locked correctly. Is the air suspension correctly set? Check for moisture in the air tanks. Check that the air and electrical Susies and required connectors are present, fitted correctly and in good condition including the anti-lock and emergency braking system. There should be no leaks from the air lines, no stretching or chaffing and no general damage or wear on all connections. Ensure that all vehicle access is in good condition, clean and secure including steps and the catwalk area and that there is nothing present that could cause you to slip or trip such as loose load restraints. Good housekeeping is essential. Again, check the door and mirrors on the passenger side. Check the windscreen washer reservoir cap for security. Lift the grille and check the engine fluid levels. Engine fluid levels should be between the minimum and maximum marks. On some vehicles, the oil, coolant and add blue levels may be displayed on the dash prior to start up. Look underneath the vehicle for any signs of fluid leaks such as oil or coolant. Check the wipers for wear. Check that the tax and insurance discs are in place and in date. If a transport disc is required, check that this is also valid. Take care when getting up and down from the vehicle as falls from vehicles are a common occurrence. Use the proper handholds, do not use the steering wheel for support and maintain three points of contact with your arms and legs. When getting out of the vehicle, be aware of uneven surfaces and never jump down. Ensure that the seat and steering wheel are set for your comfort, posture and safety and that all controls can be easily reached. Check your driving lights. Check that there is good visibility through all windows and mirrors and that there are no cracks or damage. For example, is your vision obstructed by stickers or pendants? Check that the cab interior is clean and that there are no loose items which could cause you injury if you had to brake in an emergency. Turn on the ignition and check that the steering does not have excessive play and operates freely with the power assistance in operation. Check that the windscreen washer operates, the jets are aimed correctly and that the washer bottle level warning light is not showing. Check that the wipers work correctly and that the mirrors are all correctly aligned and the heater element operates. Do the demister, cab heater, interior lights and horn all operate correctly? Ensure that the speed limiter plaque is displayed and that it is showing the same tyre size as on the vehicle drive axle. Put on your safety belt, if fitted, and start the engine. Check that all instruments, gauges and mooring devices are operating correctly and following their correct sequence, including the ABS or EBS in-cab warning lights. If any warning lights remain on after start-up, report them and don't ignore them. Check that there are no air leaks. Apply the foot brake, release the parking brake and check that there is no pressure drop. Is there an air warning light displayed or an alarm activated? Does the air pressure gauge show insufficient pressure? Is there excessive smoke or noise from the exhaust? Before leaving the depot, check that the steering and brakes are working correctly. Ensure that the service brake operates on both the tractor and trailer and that the brake pedal is free from damage. Check that the trailer brake is fully released. Record and report any defects in accordance with your employer's defect reporting systems. Remember, any safety critical items must be repaired before you drive or the vehicle must be taken out of service. Records of all checks, repairs and services should be kept for the vehicle. Analysis of the records may highlight a pattern or history to the vehicle, reoccurring defects or poor maintenance repair standards. Continue to monitor your vehicle's road worthiness as you drive. Check that the tachograph continues to operate correctly, that the speedometer is working and can be seen from the driving position 
and that the vehicle does not exceed the maximum speed stated on the speed limiter plaque. Ensure that the ABS or EBS lights do not remain on after their check sequence is complete. Some of the common faults detected by the Road Safety Authority vehicle inspectors during roadside checks include braking defects, damaged wheels and tyres, faulty lights, leakages and visible suspension and chassis defects. The majority of these faults could have been found and fixed if the driver had conducted a vehicle walk-around check. The check only takes a few minutes. It ensures that you identify obvious vehicle defects that could affect your safety and the safety of other road users. It ensures that you're not at risk of breakdown or being delayed at a roadside check. It ensures that you can deliver a reliable service to your company's customers and that you can get home safely and on time. So do a driver walk-around check to ensure your vehicle is roadworthy before you take it out on the road. For further information, check out the walk-around check posters produced by the RSA, the Gardaí and the HSA. The RSA's Guide to Keeping Your Commercial Vehicle Roadworthy is available on their website or from your nearest commercial vehicle test centre. Check out these websites for more details.